Hello viewers of Sounding Forge. Tonight we are going to talk about the new Shiro line. We got a hold of a Catra and the Fascinesia dolls, the Curvy Barbie, due to the fact that they're in the news right now. Why are they in the news? Because they only sell like 30% of compared to the other versions. That's pretty low. Because I don't think Barbie has ever gotten that low since... Since the old black Barbies in the old days. Yeah. The new curvy Barbie, I don't know why it wouldn't sell, but it just didn't sell. It didn't, it didn't appeal to children as much as they thought they would. It does on Clarence Isles. As you can see the last two days, how quickly they disappeared. Well, you sure they didn't buy for shits and giggles? No, they bought them for Christmas items or, or eBay items. Huh. Because four bucks for a Barbie doll to give to a little kid you don't like. Not a bar, not not that bad of a deal. Well, why don't I just open her up? Okay. So you're gonna surprise them with opening. Can you see me? Yeah. Are you gonna Are you gonna tear our hands off like you did with Becky Lynch? Shh. You know, you probably was there at that time when you destroyed Becky Lynch. She was. Look how excited she is about destroying packages. I have to be like a child. Never childs would do this. A child would throw the doll in five minutes because still they can't get the rubber bands off it. Mommy, do you have scissors? No, dear. Use uh, your teeth. They'll use their teeth before they ask parents for oh help. Oh my gosh, getting over her curvy friggin' body. Lose the boots. Look. Oh, you lost your boots? <laughs> yeah. I got it out with actually, um... You do know that Robbie is married to two curvy Barbies. Yes. And Mike has them both. Huh? In his love harem of black <laughs> men. So, there you go. You're a curvy Barbie. So, does it look grotesque to you? Or uh, the that outfit it should could be have better. sale? Yeah, the outfits could always be better on those. Because you look at the other fashionistas, they got more um, nicer costumes than the bigger ones do. Do you I think that has a problem to do with the sales? Well, I wouldn't buy this because of the outfit, but I will buy it because the hair looks awesome. So you think the hair is, is on the wrong outfit? Yes. Because, I'm sorry, but the hair does not scream this outfit. Do you think the outfit, Greg, screams pregnant woman? Yes. Do you, you know, with the other ones we've seen, do you think they all scream, uh... I can't even get the outfit off. Because you got to move her arms. It's not just moving her arms, it's just not coming off. So you're saying she's fat. She's... And she can't squeeze out of her own suit. <laughs> not my problem. You know, there's a lot of perverts online that are probably enjoying this right now. A girl. You're strip a girl is stripping another girl. Her head's too big for this body. You think so? I mean, look at it. You have a, you know, no chin, double chin, but she has this body. That but do you think the body's the right proportions for a curvy figure? Um, the only sad part is I don't agree with this is this looks natural, but once you turn it to this side, it doesn't. Do you think the, the breasts look natural on it, though, for the size of the build of a figure? And they might think it's grotesque. Um, I think the boobs should have been a little more bigger. They look like a B, not a C. I would believe it more if it was C. Do you think, you know, compared to you have petite Barbie, tall Barbie, and normal Barbie, do you think that has something to do with why this might not have sold neither? Um, to be honest, I don't really know. Do you think the, the curry was more mature looking? Like more you're playing with mom instead of playing with Barbie. Maybe, yeah. Or that you feel depressed saying this is what I'm going to be in the future. Do you think it also might have something to do with the fact that mothers sit there and look, think it's a, great, a positive idea and little girls look at it and go, you're not, she's not beautiful? I wouldn't think a girl actually has that time to think. How do you mean? 
I mean, to be honest, if I go back to my childhood, I never thought of anything about my Barbie dolls. I will never think of them being ugly or beautiful. It's just something you play with. You know, like say, oh, I'm going to the mall. They were imaginary that. friends? Yes. You never actually thought twice about what they looked like. Yes, maybe just to put them in outfits, but never to say, oh, she looks ugly because she's, um, you know, curvy. I mean, to be honest, if you handed me this doll when I was little, I probably wouldn't care. What would you have done with it? <laughs> uh, beat it up with my Sonic action figures. Would you really? Probably. Because by the time I um, was getting out of them, I was getting Sonic stuff. So Sonic was a, was a, is, is a, is, uses women in your world. Okay, I think you need to turn that off. Okay, we'll, we'll take a break here for a minute as you dress Curvy Barbie. So now let's look at Catra. The favorite, best character ever. Who shipped with Scorpina. No, Shara. Well, no, uh, Medora. Uh, I think she shifts with every character no, almost in the show. This is the friend turned evil. Mm -hmm. Catra and Adora were once best friends, but Catra felt betrayed when Adora joined the rebellion and now wants to defeat the princesses. Cutting and feline reflex. And look at her. She looks nothing like her counterpart. No. But she at least looks closer. Yeah, some of the other ones do. Yeah, like, um... Bo looks bad. Really bad. So just, um, Glimmer. And, sh um, Force Captain Adora looks okay. Her yeah. eyes are kind of buggy. she looks the best. she looks more proportional to her head. Yes, and then you have the frying horse. Yeah, Swift which makes one. Robbie happy. Yes. Then he has a he has a Barbie sized My Little Pony. So now I'm um, gonna open this slowly. Do you want to savor it? Well, you see how, how soft she opens this one, Robbie, and she just rips into the one eye, the other one. I noticed that. What I liked about this is that it has Shira right there. Are you going to save that and make uh, make ice cream pop Shiras? Uh, no. You're oh, gonna... you fuck. Oh, you're not going to rip that up like Becky Lynch? No, look. I know. Why don't you just tear it down and tear into a gazillion pieces and then throw it on the floor? Here. Sorry, it's Catra. You don't do that with Catra. Oh, I thought you were going to say it's because your house, not mine. You're not even looking at here. Abby? Yes? Can you go get me the scissors? Oh, you get the scissors for this one, but not the other one? Yeah. <laughs> we'll watch Robbie. Dum -dum 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 I'll film the house. I was filming Robbie. He was in the full, full, in the full frame. Oh, Robbie. How does it feel to get scissors, Robbie? Uh, it's scissoring. I think I bought myself a girlfriend. You did buy yourself a girlfriend. Robbie can buy himself a bow friend. He doesn't buy a boyfriend, <coughs> he buys a bow friend. And him and Bo can go on magical adventures. With his trick arrow. In the magical woods of Jacob Myers Park. So is her tail attached to her? Yeah. To the costume or to the doll? I don't know. Give me a second. Wow. They even put more energy into packaging her than they did uh, Curvy Barbie. Doesn't that say something? Yeah, they're, they're expecting to sell this to the Master Universe collectors. So they ain't going to open it. So, Robbie, when, you, when they have Scorpino, are you and your sister going to uh, play dolls together? Oh, 
wow, they even have the like the little teff thing that comes in front of her. Oh, she has her Jedi tassel? Yes. Just everywhere. That that's actually kinda cool. It's nice detail, but it's not out you know. She doesn't have quite her anime hair, she should. You almost gonna have to hair gel it up. Make sure in there in the spikes. It's like the spikes are still in the head. You know, so you gotta push them into the head. They won't go in. Oh, uh, they wouldn't? So, it looks like she has two pair of broken legs. The way they packaged her. So what posability does she have? <gasps> she stands! Is that, is that a rare fact for dolls to stand? Wow, but she's got boots. Yeah, that's cheating. So, take them off. Funny part is, the curvy Barbie looks like it would work good to customize for other characters for the she no. show. The older people. Yeah. Like, uh, all the Wizards Guild. I don't know if I want to remove this one. No, you don't want to remove that. That's hard to put back on. Looks like it should be easy. But you gotta keep the rubber band. Guys, don't buy this for your kid. Don't buy this for your kid because there's too much stuff in it. So should Robbie buy a bow then? Yes. Because bow would have a... Uh... You know Robbie? You gonna buy a bow? You don't want a magical friend? You can be part of the friendship uh, team. Look at me, Robbie. I did it. Yes, you got Tetra. So, are you, is her hair accurate? Hair show accurate? Almost. I think if I cut a little bit more, like right here, and had this pooped out more, it'd be more accurate. You know, there's certain things I realize that you can do. So what kind of articulation does the doll have? Does she have a waist movement? She has hips. Just hips. She doesn't turn. But this turns. Oh, so that's attached to the doll then. Yeah. Um, what's stripper? This comes off. As we all know what stripping is. Yes. Anyone who play with dolls strips them and changes clothes or don't put the clothes back on and have them fight like Tony. Because the clothes impede their movement so they'd all be naked. You think this is going to make the furries get hot? Because this is a furry character? It's one a whole outfit. Huh? It's one whole outfit and you have to make sure that it gets underneath this. So a little kid's going to have a hard time stripping her. Yes. Or even worse, putting the clothes back on. Yeah, because of her feet. Does She's her feet... not a doll that was made to um, take it off. Do her, do, her, do her ankles move? Yes. I'm already seeing the joints. Best way to discover if a doll is really a... Um... It looks like she has a monster high torso. Well, look at her. She's almost like Kirby Barbie. Yes. But that's monster high. Mattel did monster high. What do you think? Yeah. So can she do TV show style poses? So you can fight them? Or are the hips really stiff like the wrestling ones? How far I can go? Yeah. This far? Does that say how far? Yeah. Her tail looks a bit too high for where it's at. In a costume it looks fine, but in the... Uh, 
She just looks really awesome as a character. What do you think? Yeah. So you're going to get one, Robbie? Get yourself a Catra? Because it's not a bad looking figure compared to the other ones. This one actually looks pleasing to the eye. And I can see the little girls um, grabbing this one. Do you think that maybe uh, Glimmer and uh, Adora just need to be taken out of package maybe and poof their hair out? Maybe. Bo, and you can't do nothing about. Glimmer looks like you need to um, just go for her hair a couple of times. Yeah. Or if you know how to stylize hair, you are... I can see Glimmer easily getting repainted on uh, fan sites. Her face to look more show accurate. Yeah. Kind of like what you see done with uh, Elsa dolls. <laughs> yes. There are a ton of people that repaint Elsas. It's kind of funny to watch this. Yeah. Because usually you think because it's a Disney product... You wouldn't think that way. No. That people are that hardcore into having accurate uh, looking characters. What do you think? So you're going to have get a Dora next? I want to. And they had the two of them fight? Uh, yeah. That's Maybe. what you call it, fighting? <laughs> or fan fictioning? Fan fictioning. Right, are you going to then get Scorpina? There is none. What if they did? Yeah, just burn it, yeah. How about, uh... How about a Marispa? Maybe. Frosta and uh, Perfuma. Or would you rather have a Seahawk? I think you with, want that one. With matches. No, with its own boat. Yes. Cool part is the joints are right at where it's cut right here. Uh huh. So it doesn't actually um, wreck the fabric. You know what I mean? Yeah. So do you think people, girls, will have fun playing with this, or do you think it'll just be on the shelf or lost in a pile of dolls? Well, the only sad part about Shira, as most of the things to to any series, that this is still on Netflix. It's not out there in the real world where you can get the DVD or anything. And I think that kind of wrecks it. Because not every kid's going to be able to watch Netflix. And since it's more tailored to more teens... Do you think that the She-Ra dolls will sell to second generation, third generation She-Ra fans of the original show, though? No. How come? Because, like I said, Netflix... At least a She-Ra doll. The other, th other four don't resemble their characters other than Adora. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Yeah. Now you're going to make her a whip and a leather, a leather jacket? <laughs> kind of like the ears. What do you think? The ears are new. Like I said, that's a whole new head. The other ones, I think, are heads from Monster High. Probably. Maybe that's why I like her. Because she looks like a Monster High character? No, that she looks new. Yeah. But does she resemble her cartoon likeness? Mm, somewhat. She looks way too happy. Way too happy? Is she supposed to be way too sad? Because hey. you don't have a Dora. She's not happy? Yeah. Anything you'd like to say about this, Robbie? I think the figure looks cool. I'm not going to look at it looks cool. you got to have more than that to say. I don't know why it looks cool. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. What do you think? Would you think that this will sell? If it, if it could get more exposure, maybe. But I think it's going to be to people who played with She-Ra and Master Universe figures. Well, I mean, I didn't play that. But you loved your new show. Because you have Netflix. Yes. Just has a point there. Yeah. Because I was sending Bonnie pictures of uh, the original Catra. And she was going, that's a cool looking character. Didn't even realize that it was a She-Ra a, a She Master Universe character. 
Oh, I forgot to add something. Her belt. She's not complete. Can you believe it? Oh no, oh, no. she dropped her weapon. Oh no, why am I fucking this up? Hey, maybe don't make Kevin. Or not. So which other dolls would you like to see in the collection? Kevin? Glamour's mom. I think she'd Angelic? be pretty. I think she'd be With pretty. With flutter wings? Yeah. Because I can see her being like Celestia. How about, uh... What about Entrapta? Yeah, with, with, with moving hair. Uh, no. That would be cool. How about Scorpina? Nah. How about Hordak? Nah. With, move, with removable armor? You already know my ship, and you already know what I'm going to buy. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> so tonight she's going to ship Sonic the Hedgehog with uh, Catra. So this is the sounding board signing off. She's taller. Yes. And she doesn't look happy. Unlike Catra, who's the villain, who does look happy. <coughs> it's kind of sad. Yes, I know. You want to say anything before we sign off, Robbie, from the sounding board? No. Okay, you, you are so productive in this episode. Thank you, Robbie. You're welcome.